I've been getting asked and shown and had people slide into my DMs on every social media in regards to this United States Army's recruiting commercial anime. I don't even know what you want to call it. Oh, is it good? Is it bad? Are you going to transform into a drill sergeant and fucking tear that thing up? I'm not going to touch this in any military uniform because I don't want to end up like Captain fucking Space Force over here getting kicked out of his command just because he decided that Marxism was bad and wrote a book on it on his civilian time. By the way, all opinions and statements do not represent those of the DOD or the United States Army. I think you got to say that. Just to be clear, cause he didn't, he still got in trouble, but I'm, I'm, I'm not taking any chances no more. Guy gets removed from command just because he jibber jabbers off about it, he doesn't like Marxism. And everybody acts like he should just be so ecstatic. He wasn't just launched out of a shuttle bay in the middle of space, like among us. But because I know this video is going to get demonetized, let's first hear a word from our sponsors. Rise of Kingdoms. Today's sponsor is Rise of Kingdoms. Rise of Kingdoms is a mobile strategy game available to players for nearly three years now. Rise of Kingdoms still tops high ratings on both the Google Play Store and the App Store with over 60 million players. In Rise of Kingdoms, you can choose from 12 different civilizations that rose to power throughout history. Develop your civilization by upgrading buildings, training troops, collecting resources, and develop technology to break through each era in history. Rise of Kingdoms battle scenes blow away similar gameplay with hardy and realistic battle scenes with over 1.4 million square kilometers of game space you can immerse yourself in a world with mornings and evenings real terrain and vivid city scenes Prepare yourself for Viking civilization, as Ragnar Lodbrok and Bjorn Ironside are leading Viking warriors into a rage! Join and fight with me by downloading Rise of Kingdoms in the link below. Use bonus code ROKVIKINGS to get some special rewards for yourself. They even have a contest where you can win an iPhone 12 Pro Max, an iPhone 12 Pro, or an iPhone 12, which you can enter by hitting the contest link. Okay, let's get back to business. To defeat da -da, the Huns. The United States Army has used a whole bunch of different recruiting tactics in order to show people or showcase the United States Army and how great it can be and what you could do to better yourself in it. And I've got no problem with that. But the newest ad campaign is a five video series, each video being about two minutes each, called The Calling. It centers around five individual soldiers, well that's ten, five soldiers, and their stories about why they joined the United States Army. Now you would think to yourself, this doesn't sound so bad. People of different races and cultures telling you why they came into the United States Army, a major melting pot of the United States. Very good. These are all good things. Nobody's upset about that. But the way that it came across in these five videos is some of the cringiest shit I've ever seen. It just, it just makes your skin crawl. It's, uh, it's, I don't know. It's like, you know what it's like? It's like watching the first few weeks of American Idol where there's some people that are really excited to put on a good show and they go up in front of the judges and they would just go, ah, 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 sort of like goats fucking each other in the throat, thinking that they're doing good. And you're going, oh, oh, God, they don't know. Oh, they don't know. Oh, God. Oh, it just eats away your soul. That's what watching these videos is like. You just look at it and your just soul hurts. Except for one. One of them, one of them was good. The first video is not too bad. It's about a young man who lived in Hawaii and saw his father fly helicopters for the army and said, oh, that's really cool. I want to do that, but I don't think I can. Oh, I'm down on myself. Brr. Really motivational shit here. And then he goes, okay, cool, I'm gonna study really hard. And, and he took his flight test and now he's flying helicopters. But one of the lines that sticks out in the video is this. It doesn't take a genius to become an army pilot. It takes time and effort. I know what you're trying to say, big army. You don't have to be Albert Einstein to figure out how to fly, but just the wording of it. It doesn't take a genius to become an army pilot. You don't have to be a genius to learn how to fly. <laughs> you could be an idiot. That you're just, it's, no, don't use that wordage. Burbage. It's making me stupid. It doesn't take a genius. It's just a bad taste. God, who scripted? Who wrote the script for this kid to read? Lieutenant, who wrote the script for this lieutenant to read? 
it doesn't take a genius. Then you got the singer lieutenant. She started off as a singer. Her dad came up in Vietnam. I was like, yo, they treated us like shit. Don't do that. And you're like, oh. So as soon as I turned 17, I asked for my dad's blessing to enlist. But having served in the army during the Vietnam era, responding to civil unrest, he said no. Yeah. Uh, why would you want to put that in a recruiting video? Can we, it happened. You're like, we're not denying it, but it's, just, it's not great when your promotional video for your company starts off with, hey, they used to scream baby killer at us and spit on us at the airport. Jesus. And God bless her. This lieutenant's got a fantastic voice. It, it kind of fits the cartoon because she sounds like a Disney princess when she sings. But the song that she sings, it just feels forced and weird. Ah, it feels like my high school band practice where I'm trying to write something deep about a girl that denied me from touching her boobies. This is, watch for yourself. When I was 17, I, I had such real big dreams. I said that I want to be a soldier so I can be like you. And though the years have passed now, Feeling just seems to last now. It's not too hard to grasp now. Hey, Dad, I gotta be like you. Now, the third one is from a young girl that had Dominican parents, and she went to the Dominican because she was kind of leading the wrong kind of lifestyle. Mom and Dad want to be like, hey, check out the old country and come back here and realize how good you got it. All right. All right, starting off kind of cool. And then she's down in the Dominican, you know, trying to learn her lesson, you know, and being like, oh, life is rough, but I can persevere. But then she tells this story about how people visiting the Dominican Republic would just throw candy at her. Tourists used to drive by and throw candy at us. And I hate to bring this up, hon, but in Iraq, we used to do that to the kids all the fucking time. So you've got full circle here from candy throwing. You got it from civilians while you were a civilian, and now you can throw candy to kids in Iraq, Afghanistan, the Horn of Africa, while you're a military service member. So, like, did they throw candy at you in a bad way? They're throwing candy to you. At you? To you? But why does that matter? Why? Like, but, but once again, why is this little thing of having candy thrown at her? Why is this thrown in here? Does it make any fucking sense? It doesn't take a genius. Out of the five videos, this fourth one does a great job. This is Ricky. Strong name, Richard. I mean, you know, it's, it's probably just Ricky, but Richard's a strong name, dick, all right? He was the child of an immigrant parents, grew up in Haiti. He was, he's an immigrant himself. It's almost one of the most American stories you can hear. He grew up in Haiti with his parents. He emigrated to the United States. Back when he was in Haiti, he used to walk miles on dirt roads to go to school. I can't tell you how many times my grandparents told me that. Uphill both ways, I'm sure. Comes to the United States. Looks around, it's like, wow, this is a land of opportunity. Let me, let me work hard. I want to now defend the country that took me in, that I've grown to love, that I've assimilated into. I... But it was one day during a 9-11 ceremony, I started seeing the army in a new light. The silent show of respect for this country was deafening. I was now determined to defend this nation that I called home. Well, that's, that's a fucking great one. I no issues with that one whatsoever. That one should have been rose to the top. Good job, Ricky. Great story. Good guy. I buy you a beer, Lieutenant. But now, the time you've all waited for, the coup de gras. We're gonna, I'm gonna run through it real quick so we don't have to watch it together. I can't watch it one more fucking time. She was a young girl. She did ballet. She played violin. She had two moms. She would go to gay rights activists protests and then finally after a horrible accident her mom was able to walk again and marry her other mother and then she joined a sorority and then sure her friends are out there doing great shit and she's like i want an adventure and so she then joined the military and here she is with the patriot missile defense system okay there's a whole video thank me that you don't have to watch it it doesn't take a genius now none of these things on an individual basis are bad you Ballet, violin, gay parents, went to a sorority, but nobody fucking cares. Nobody cares. That is the uppermost whitest life you could ever live. I don't care about any of these videos, except for Ricky, Ricky's video is cool. I don't care about any of these videos regarding any of these people or what their lives were like before they joined the army. You know what I wanna see? How their lives were bettered when they got in it. 
What are the cool things that they do now? I don't even know what the singer does. I, I don't even know what the singer does in the other video. It doesn't take a genius. I don't even know what Ricky does. I've completely forgotten what all of them have done except for the guy that flies helicopters and Patriot missile to mom girl. Little behind the scenes moment here. While making this video, the United States Army just said no more comments in any more of these five videos that they posted for this, you know, whatever the fuck it was, those five horrible videos that they made, except for Ricky. They deleted the comments. You can't comment any of the videos anymore. So you know what? The internet did its job. It showed the army how stupid it was. They said, oh, fuck. Well, we can't take it down because that would show that we're bitches and we're not. We're just going to take off these comments. These kids are tearing us apart. So good job, internet. The world is healing. It's fixed itself as it should. It doesn't take a genius to become an army pilot. Oh, and don't forget to download Rise of Kingdoms in the description below. They have out the channel. So it's kind of a cool thing to do. I can't even say De La Resist, De Resist, the Peace De La, oh my God, I, I can't say words. Peace De Resistance. Oh, I can't, I don't even know. I've, I've killed all my brain cells watching these fucking videos over and over again to write down jokes and to watch the Young Turks, those idiots. Peace De Resistance, it's not resistance. It's not resistance. Peace day. Ha! Oh. I got a hold of Emma, the two moms soldier. God, her that poor girl, that poor fucking corporal, is just gonna be known as two moms corporal forever. And God bless her and her mothers, because they have a gosh dang sense of humor. I posted my own version, my private potato video, of all those the calling videos. And I, I took portions from each video out and put them in there. And God bless Emma and her moms. Emma showed it to her parents and they said that it was hysterical. So God bless you and the Mormon community for that matter for enjoying the video of me poking fun at the United States Army's attempt to try and make everybody one big family and, and just but unfortunately turned it into cringe. This is why I love America. This is what it should be. This is what normal Americans are. It doesn't know. It doesn't matter what your fucking background is. You're like, hey, you know what? That guy, instead of being insulted that he poked fun at this thing that we made, I can see the humor in it and I enjoy it. God bless you.